In this video, Robin and I are going to show you how to set up Studio One alongside Session Wire. This setup is applicable to both Studio One 4 Professional. You have to have the VST extension in order to see the plugins for both Windows and Mac. Uh, Mac version, you can see the audio units plugins if you have plugins enabled as well. There are alternative setups, uh, particularly with Studio One 5 with the Listen bus. However, this way, this is uniform between Studio One 4 and 5 and uh, it's very easy to get set up streaming audio. So in order for me to stream my mix to Robin, all I need to do is place the Session Wire Send plugin on this main fader right here. So I'm gonna go to Inserts. I'm going to pick Session Wire Send. And because Session Wire defaults the Session Wire HQ audio source to the Send plugin, I don't have to change anything there for Robin to be able to hear my audio going across the connection. So if I hit Play now, Robin hears my audio coming out of Studio One because everything in my session is funneled to this main fader right here. A side note, Session Wire comes with a built-in auto mute function that mutes my microphone and Robin's talkback coming to me when I hit play in my DAW. So you can just hear the clean DAW audio. The next step we're going to do is to bring Robin's HQ audio into my Studio One session. If Robin hits play right now, I will hear his audio because my Session Wire HQ audio destination is set to my interface over there. And the outputs one and two are my mains. So I'll be able to hear the audio just fine, but I won't see meters moving in Studio One. Robin, if you wouldn't mind. Great, I can hear it just fine but it's not showing up in my Studio One session. So we're going to take the HQ audio destination, change it to Session Wire Receive plugin, and I'm going to create a new track, a new audio track. It's going to be stereo right here. Oh, I'm going to actually drag it right to the end of my, well, I can't drag it to the end of my session because these are buses. So a little Studio One tip there. I'm going to insert the Session Wire Receive plugin on this track. And now if Robin hits play, I will see signal in my session. I should also label this session wire HQ receive. I will see the audio here, but there's going to be an issue that we're going to resolve shortly. So Robin, if you wouldn't mind. How did it sound? Echoey. Echoey, and it's echoey because I'm receiving it into Studio One. It's being routed to main, and then it's hitting this Session Wire Send plugin and bouncing it right back to Robin. So we're gonna do a little bit of a workaround in Studio One here. This is again how I prefer to do things, and it's uniform between Studio One, Four, and Five. With the Listen bus, there are alternative setups, but this way, we're gonna ensure that we're not getting any loop back. So I'm going to go to, actually right here, the I.O. button hit the I.O. button and go to the Output tab. I'm going to create a new stereo output called Mix, and I'm going to route it out the same output one and two that main is routed to. So I have two sources for my output one and two. I'm gonna hit Apply, OK, and head over to the outputs here and turn them on so that I can see them. And now I have two outputs, Mix and Main. I'm going to take the Session Wire Send plugin slide it over to mix. Oh, I mean, it copied it, so I need to delete this one. I'm gonna delete this one again and just add it again. Session wire send on my mix channel. I'm going to take all of the channels here that are routed to main, which is essentially this guy and these channels, and I'm going to route them all to mix. So now my drums are going to this mix channel and not the main channel. And if I hit, if Robin hits play again, sorry, I will see his audio come in, but he won't hear an echo of it. Perfect. Perfect. So now we have a, a way of separating the audio that I'm hearing and want to stream to audio and Robin's audio coming to me. And that's about as easy as that setup gets. But we do recommend using the first setup in order to stream audio one way. This is only if you want to do remote ADR or voiceover work, something where timing doesn't matter and playing in time with a band or another in, uh, musician doesn't really matter. Now we're going to route all talk back in and out of Studio One as well. 
So I'm going to create two mono, mono audio tracks. Where did they end up? There they are. Track 16. I'm going to drag it all the way down to the bottom. Oh, it only created one. Let's create another one. Add a mono audio track. This first one I'm going to label session wire talk back send. And the second one I'm going to label session wire talk back receive. The send channel, I'm going to insert the session wire talk back send plugin. And the receive channel, I'm going to insert the session wire talk back receive channel. Now, this talk back send plugin. Its input is channel one of my audio interface, which my microphone is plugged into. So before I uh, um, input monitor it, I'm going to mute it to prevent any local feedback, and then input monitor. And if I look at the session wire talkback send plugin, I see signal. If I go to session wire and change the microphone of the talkback stream to the talkback send plugin, Robin should still be able to hear me. Yeah, still hear you fine. Still hears me fine, and my audio is now being routed through Studio One to him. And if I want to see and hear Robin in my Studio One session, I'm going to change the speaker of the TalkBack stream to TalkBack Receive plugin. And now if Robin speaks, I can see the Check signal one, in two. my session. There we go. That's how to route TalkBack in and out of Studio One as well. Of course, again, I want to stress that working the first way we described with just the Send plugin on the main fader is how we recommend working and using you have built-in webcam or you know a microphone plugged into channel one of, his, of an audio interface is the microphone and your interface is a speaker. That's the easiest way to get up and running. If you have questions, you can reach out to us at support.sessionwire.com or send us an email at support at sessionwire.com. And we'll see you next time. See you next time.